<sighs> I've recorded these stories like five times. Um, I want to tell you what we're doing today. Uh, Deb is on her way home from Menards and then we are going to eat and then run over and start finishing the painting. I have the second coat to put on in the bedroom and the mechanical room. And then, um, like I said, I'm going to wait to trim until she is trimming out the windows. That will not take long. And then we are going to maybe start the flooring, which I'm really, really excited about um, because it's going to really make a huge dramatic difference. And the um, audio visual boys are coming tomorrow to hook up our speakers in the cottage and our frame TV. So I'm excited about that too. I've had so many messages, like the last three have been about the eyebrow pencil or pen. I'm gonna link the post here. There's, there is a link in it and the code is Deb and Danelle. It's not the Winchester, I haven't changed it yet. We just got home and I just posted on the feed, so check it out. It's of our new um, porch lights. And then I'm going to share a few stories of what we got done tonight. The questions in the question box were about paint and like what the ceiling, what we did with the ceiling, if we painted it because we never showed it. And let me show you the difference between the ceiling and the wall color, even though they're still white. This looks way darker on the screen, this wall. Um, but I wanted to show you the difference. So this is pure white from Sherwin-Williams and it's more of a, a warm white. This is white right off the shelf without any mixing. Um, and they're both in satin, but you can see the difference. And then there is the ceiling. Well, first of all, Anyways, the ceiling is primed. So we had them prime two coats, I think. I told them to just make sure it's uh, good enough that we won't have to paint because primer and ceiling paint are just about the same. So we just primed it. That is Spanish laced and then the walls are not. So I think I answered all of the questions regarding the paint. If not, let me know. I'm going to start um, cleaning the floor. I have to get all the goobers up with a scraper and then sweep it all up and make sure there's nothing it takes from. And if you're dying to know what goobers are, these are goobers. You have to scrape, make sure all of that stuff is scraped off. Otherwise, you will see it under your flooring. You'll see the little bump. I don't know if I told you guys, but we are doing <clears throat> vertical shiplap on this wall. And I'll show you. I was getting ready to move it so I could sweep, but it's gonna look like this. And then we're gonna paint it. It's like two little strips in one. And then we're gonna paint it. And this will be probably right after the flooring. couple of questions about our fireplace. It is going to be electric. So there it is. We just have to wait until we'll probably put this in next week. Also, a bunch of questions about the seams. Um, if I didn't know where they were, I would never be able to tell. 
If you guys remember, there was one down here. Oh, I just had to get down here to look, but this one is it. And I can't really tell when you're standing, unless you get right down to it, you cannot even tell. Here's how the corner turned out. I did the same thing. Um, I just took spackling and pushed it in there and then just kind of textured it with my finger like all of that is. And I think it looks fine. <laughs> They're frozen. Her pants are frozen. This is my current situation. I am pretending that I'm slumdog millionaire because my back is broken. <laughs> Deb, I need that chapstick ASAP. I see you. Scraping goobers off of the floor is very detrimental to you. <laughs> Neither one of us did anything exciting fun today. You guys asked about jobs that weren't too exciting today. Nothing was. Here's what they look like up. Hi, Deb. <laughs> um, they are, I think they're, these are the 15 inch. I'll have to look, I'll type it on the screen. But I love all of this extra detail on them. One on each side of the door. We ended up putting one above the garage door, the same size, well, gonna be garage door next week. And then a smaller one here. Just look how pretty they look. I cannot wait until we get our porch decorated. I just think they are gorgeous. Getting, we don't have much time because we're both getting hungry, but we wanted to kind of start the floor just to see what it's going to look like. Um, so I will show you. In case you want to know, look at all this. This is the padding that's gonna go under it. Um, we don't have to put a padding under this because there is one on it. Let me show you this, but Deb did some research and said that I am a safety girl. <laughs> I, um, I think I'm concrete. Since it has a padding, it's adequate, but it also did recommend by the manufacturer that you put a barrier between it because it is concrete. A moisture barrier and it will help with the noise, noise. and it will help with like the padding so it won't be so tough on your feet. Yes. This is going to look so pretty. If you're new here, I wanted um, it to look like real wood, but we had really not many choices laying it over concrete. So this is a laminate and it's in the warm tones, which is what I wanted. I did not want it to appear gray and it's not. Okay, so we need to clarify because I've gotten a lot of questions about if this is our house. This is, I keep referring to it as the cottage because it's Deb's workshop. It's my workshop and she will be moving to the house soon, won't you? <laughs> 